Come on. Come on. I think I'm gonna be a shoe salesman. Welcome back to the channel boys. Today we have this 30 year old Ford Explorer. Look at this beauty. Great. Okay, what we need to do is the basics. Um, we need to give it a tune up. It's, uh, it has, it's a bit hesitant on the acceleration, misses a bit. But that can be dirty fuel filters, maybe dirty injectors, you know, stuff like that. So. We're gonna start with the basics, spark plugs change, fuel filters, oil filter, oil, air filter, see full treatment net, and uh, see how it responds. It's really good condition. I like the condition of it. For 30 years old, it's not that bad at all. It's not that bad at all. Look in here, it's like a time capsule. Uh, yes. Oh, we got an OBD1 scanner with it too. Back to the 90s. Double D40. And this is the list the owner left for me fuel filter, oil filter, air filter, spark plugs, brake fluids. There's a leakage at the radiator. And uh, there's a leaking transmission gasket somewhere I need to address. Let's take it right here. Give it one more cycle. Let's go. And the battery is not happy. Okay boys, it actually does look that bad. It's all original. Was really hesitant. Yeah, you give it trial and it has a delay. <laughs> it cut off. Yeah, we have a uh, fuel delivery clogged or something. Why does it do this? Is the starter weak? <laughs> first things first, let's start removing parts and go shopping. boys we went shopping air filter oil filter fuel filter some new spark plugs conventional multivitamin 10w40 before i start with everything of these i'm gonna give it a seafoam treatment i'm gonna put one third in the crankcase one third in the fuel tank one third down this throat There it goes. Okay, it has been idling for about 15 minutes now. I'm gonna put the sea foam treatment inside the intake. What that does, it cleans up the carbons on top of the engine because the sea foam goes on it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You remove this and hope it doesn't turn off. 
I'm gonna show you guys my high idle stick 9000. Stick it there. You adjust it over here. We want it around 2000. You know, it's a really precise tool. You can find it any auto parts store you want. Or you can buy it directly off me. Sell for $900 each. Okay, now you let it sit for five minutes and then the smoking show begins. It's clearing up, it's clearing up. Lots of carbon, lots of carbon. All right, boys. After about a half an hour to 45 minutes of idling, gonna let it cool down because it's really hot. It didn't overheat, leaking coolant though, but uh, didn't overheat. Let's wait for it to cool down so we can start changing parts. Yeah, it's easier than Sunday morning. Come on. Oh, there you go. God dang it. I got you. The last spark plug on this side. Come on. I think I'm gonna be a shoe salesman. Tips, boys. Always put the date on the oil filters. Woo. There you go. That's what the sea foam did. You, you see all the dirt stuff coming out? That's the sea foam job. Pour the clips on it and pull oh, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, look at that dirty fuel. <laughs> Alright boys, let's have a look at the ugly old fuel it has. Whoa, <laughs> did you see that? It's black, it's just black. Whoa. Hopefully the tank isn't like that. Whoa, look at the dirt. Whoa, this fuel is just literally black. Okay boys, we got it full of oil. We changed the filters, we changed the spark plugs, air filter. Let's see how it responds. It's gonna take a bit longer to spool up because uh, the filters are empty. But let's give it a fuel cycle. I see the difference because the old filter was really but really really bad so let's give it a shot over here it's like a few times let the pump prime system no way it wants to crank it wants to turn over there you go no more lift or tap engine is quiet this thing is turning out to be great well it like the sea foam i like the new oil i like the filters not that bad sir not complaining at all i'm gonna continue tomorrow on this video because i have to go now it's uh 5 pm we have some drag racing to do boys so stay tuned you're gonna see this video next week but today is barcadera nights let's go all right, boys, we're back the next day. Um, drag racing was pretty fun yesterday, so we have to go back and check this video out. Um, but let's continue with this guy. I've been sitting overnight. I changed all the filters and stuff yesterday. Let's see how it starts up in the cold. goes no engine ticking boys I told you the sea foam does magic oh, it's raining this thing drives smooth
Brakes work. Hell yeah, boys, this drives really smooth. No rattling, just this annoying armrest, but take my hand out of it. Maybe needs a few new shocks, but annoying is uh, rattling. It's an old car, so it's to be expected. Give some power. Oh, it drives really good, I'm telling you. Stop. Give a little more than half. Yeah, it goes good. It goes really good. No missing, no hesitation. It drives really good, actually. Hey, Nikki, go inside. Nikki, inside now. Inside. Stay. Doesn't miss these dogs. Spray some beautiful degreaser. All right, boys. This is the final product. Clean as a whistle, shiny, everything clean, everything works, starts up pretty good right now. It's a little old, so I uh, gotta give it a little bit of uh, patience, but it starts right up, no kidding you. What I found wrong that we need to order for this car is um, a bad radiator, as you saw there, and uh, two rear wheel brake cylinders, but um, since we're going back there, we're gonna Put everything back there new so we're gonna order uh, brake shoes wheel cylinder and spring kit so if you want to see more about this classic s explorer you let me down down in the comment section and i'll make it happen but for now thank you so much for watching and this was the classic explorer peace boys take care